Hello, this is Andy from VPN Mentor and in this video I'll be giving you a quick demonstration of Zenmate. So first I will download the VPN software to my desktop and show you how user friendly they are. Secondly, I'll also test the speed of this VPN to show you how fast they can get. And also, can they unblock geo-restricted content such as Netflix? Find out later on in the video. And lastly, I'll also show you how supportive the customer service is and we'll see if they can honour the money back guarantee. So, let's get started. Let's take a brief look at what Zenmate has to offer. Thanks to their strong encryption, they state that their VPN works well to protect internet traffic when using public Wi-Fi connections. These are known to be quite insecure as hackers and snoopers can easily intercept data. Also, they provide a native app for all devices that include Mac, Windows, Androids and iPhones. And finally, they have servers in over 30 different countries around the world, which is a reasonable amount of servers you would expect from a good quality VPN. So all of this looks promising, but now let's go to the payment page where I'm going to show you their pricing plans. So like many VPNs, they offer three tiers. They have a one month, a one year and a six month plan. And of course, they offer a discount on the one year plan, which is quite an attractive discount. But I'm going to go for the one month plan in just a moment. They also offer a 14 day money back guarantee, so that's plenty of time to test drive the software and if it's not right for you, then you can simply request your money back. And again, I'm actually going to test this as well later on in the video, so do keep watching. So before I move on to purchase the VPN, I just want to let you know of an excellent way you can get huge discounts on VPNs. So if you're still undecided and hunting for a VPN, then definitely head over to vpnmentor.com and you'll have access to money saving coupons and discounts that really will help you save some money and of course time. So head over to vpnmentor.com. Okay, so now back to the pricing plans where I'm going to choose the one month plan just for this demonstration. And we have a few payment choices. We can either pay by credit card or PayPal. And depending on the country you live in, there is um, other payment methods like bank transfers. Unfortunately, I don't see any sign of Bitcoin, so there isn't actually an option to pay anonymously, which is unfortunate because Bitcoin can ensure that your payment isn't tracked in the same way that credit cards and PayPal are, which would of course increase your anonymity. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to use PayPal. And once you've completed the payment, you will arrive at this screen. So click download at the top of the page and then select whichever operating system you want to download the app to. So I'm using Windows for this demonstration, so I'll go ahead and download the Windows 10 version. So all it takes is a matter of seconds to download. So let me head to the desktop and click install. And as you can see, again, it's very quick to get going. My username is my email address and the password is found in the welcome email I received here. And I can change that later on if I want to. So let's log in. And now I want to show you around the app itself. So on the bottom left here, we can have direct access to our account. We can see my pricing plan and also we have the option to upgrade. So select one of those options and you'll be taken directly back to their website where you can make your payment. As well as this, we have the option to configure some of the app settings. You can choose to log in automatically as soon as you start up the app. Also, you can select a different language Let's make sure it's in English for the rest of this demonstration. But more importantly, we have a direct link to their support team, which I'll take for a test drive later on in the video. And back to the main screen, if we click the third option, we have some statistics on our connection, which gives us an indication of how much data we've transmitted and received, as well as how long we've been on for. And a fourth option is just a notification center, so if there's any alerts for updates, then you will receive them here. And if we check out the list of servers, I'm just going to select one just now, just to make sure that it works. So I'm just connecting to Germany. So I'm going to time this connection and see how long it takes to connect. And amazingly, it's only just under four seconds, so that's great. So let's disconnect by clicking the shield icon in the middle. And I'm going to move on and start putting Zenmate to the test. So before I test the VPN itself, I just want to show you that I'm not using a VPN and I'm now using my normal IP address based in the UK. And of course, I need to test the speed of this current internet connection. And later on, I'll compare these results with the speed test results of the VPN itself. So here we see I have a ping of 55 milliseconds. I have a download speed of 
5 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 21.45. Now, I want to see if this VPN can unblock geo-restricted content, such as Netflix. So I'm based in the UK, which means I can't always access some of the films I would like to watch, because they're only available in certain locations around the world. So for example, if I search for Enemy of the State, this is one film that I know is not available in the UK and only in the US. And here you can see I get no results whatsoever, which means I'll have to change my IP address if I want to watch this film, and I'll have to change to a server that's located in a geographical area that will unblock this film for me. In this case, it's the United States. So now I'm going to go over to the Zenmate app and pick a server in the United States. I have two to choose from, so I'll pick the first one here. And again, I'll time this connection to see how fast it takes. And thankfully, it only takes under five seconds, so that's excellent. And now let me show you that I am connected to the VPN. Here we can see my brand new IP address based in the US. And now let's go ahead and test the speed of this particular server. So I have a ping of 142 milliseconds. Now I have a download speed of 8.54 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 3.27. So in comparison to my normal IP address, it's no surprise that the VPN has slowed my connection down, but this shouldn't really impact on my ability to conduct normal browsing activities. However, when it comes to streaming content, whether it's YouTube or Netflix, for example, it may cause slow loading times or buffering, but there's only one way to find out. So let's head back to Netflix and see if I can finally unblock Enemy of the State. But unfortunately, I can't even seem to access the website at all. So before I contact support about this issue, I'm just going to head to the other United States server, United States West, and see if I can connect to Netflix via this server. And for some reason, I'm getting a connection error. So what I'm going to do is contact support. So I can do this via the app. So simply click the settings option and then click support. And I can go straight to the contact form where I'm going to tell them that I can't access the US West server and I also can't access Netflix on the other United States server. And another reason for doing this is I get to show you how supportive their customer service is and to see if they're friendly or not, and also to see how long they take to get back to me. So I had an automatic reply telling me to expect a reply between one to five business days. Thankfully, it only took a couple of hours for them to get back to me. And they told me that unfortunately, Unblocking pages like Netflix is usually a game of cat and mouse because Netflix are tightening their security all the time to block VPNs. So they can't actually guarantee me access to Netflix, which is unfortunate because there are only two United States servers available from Zenmate. Whereas if they had more servers available, I might have a higher chance at unblocking Netflix. They didn't offer any solution to my other problem, which was connecting to the US West server. However, before I decided to reply, I actually wanted to try the server once again and I'm showing you here on the screen that I'm now connecting to the US West and I'm also timing the connection once again to show you that it generally is very quick to connect and my problems earlier on were probably just due to a minor technical error but here we go only takes 13 seconds and here's my new IP address just to show you that it's been successful and the last thing I want to do is show you how to unsubscribe and I'm doing this to show you if they honor the money back guarantee and we can assess the overall level of customer support. So head to the Zenmate app, click the lower left icon and then click edit your account. So you'll be taken to your browser and then you'll be prompted to log in. Once you've done that, you won't actually find a link to unsubscribe in your account unfortunately. So you have to rummage through support. I've done the hard work for you here. So I found how do I get a refund on my Zenmate purchase. This FAQ page tells me to contact support. So I went ahead and did this. And once again, I found that they were very quick to reply. They did ask me why I was leaving, but they weren't very pushy and they were more than happy to honor the money back guarantee. So Zenmate provide a very straightforward and easy to use app. I'm quite happy with their server speeds. However, I think they could have done a better job at unblocking Netflix. What do you think? Leave your comment below. Or you can find out what many other people have said about Zenmate by going to vpnmentor.com. There's a wealth of information here. So this is simply a must if you want to make an informed decision before buying a VPN. Don't forget to like and share this video. And thanks for watching.